All right, welcome to the third and final video of the series. So in the first two videos, we looked at how to set up your business to really make sure you can go through a crisis, that you're ready for it. In the second one, we looked at how can you actually grow your business. And the third one is one which was really requested by you on my Instagram story, which is if we're gonna invest, how can you invest and how can you profit from a recession, a crisis, the stock market going down? So in order to answer this, we actually have to go back a few steps. Now, remember in the first video, we said you always need a little war fund. So you need three to six months worth of cost for your business to just have that to the side, right? We keep that not, you know, that we keep it out of account. And after that, all the money that we have, we basically want to split in three ways. The first way you want to keep in cash. So one third of all the money you have, keep in cash. One third you want to put into stocks and bonds and one third into real estate. Now the real estate, depending on your budget, could be garage boxes, could be houses, but also if you have a smaller budget, you know, there's, there's a lot of things on the stock market where you can invest in real estate. You can be part of a corporation, there's a lot of ways to do it. But for now, we'll, we'll really focus on the stocks and bonds and on the cash. So one third is cash, which basically is also a sort of war fund. So whenever this happens, right, the stock markets go down or high, house prices will go down, you have that money to, to invest. And it's also safe because if the stock market does really go down and you need that money, right, you have to sell your stocks because you need money, that's where you get into trouble. So that's why we always want to have that war fund. Now what happens, right? One third of my, of my money of the things I have is in stocks and the stock market starts to crash. It goes down, it goes down. So the balance that I want to have, the one third cash, one third on stocks, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna tilt. Right now I have more cash and the, the value of my stock portfolio has gone down. So I have to start buying more stocks right now. Now, when we talk about buying stocks, I would always recommend to buy what's called index trackers. And index trackers, basically you buy every, every share which is in the S&P 500 or every share of the 500 biggest companies. So you don't have to pick individual stocks. That's what I would normally recommend because we are investing. We are not trading. Trading is buying and selling all the time. No, we are talking about investing for the future. So as soon as the markets go down, yes, start buying and start buying slowly because we never know how much more it's going to drop. And there's a saying which is never catch a falling blade. Um, so once it's go down really, really fast, we feel like, oh, I have to buy right now. You buy super fast and the next day it goes down another five, 10, maybe even 15% right now. So take it slowly, buy a bit and make sure that, you know, that balance of one third is always there. Now, the reason why you want to do this and why this basically is a good way to do it is we're buying when it's going down. But if the stock prices start going up, remember in the first video we spoke about the V, we expect it to go up quite fast again after this, um, the balance will shift the other way because now my stock portfolio is worth way more than the cash I have. So I have to start selling a bit of stock again. And that way you're forcing yourself to buy when things go down. So buy low and sell as soon as there's profit. And the same could happen with real estate, right? If, if the real estate prices really drop, then all of a sudden I have too much cash, so I have to buy more real estate. And if it goes up, then potentially you could sell your real estate or keep it for a bit longer and make sure you get more cash again the other way. So that is very important. Now, there were also some questions about, hey, if you would buy individual stocks, what would you do? And again, normally I would not really suggest you doing it. But right now, let's take two examples, what I think is good to do right now and what's really not good to do. So look at the industries, uh, industries which are really affected. And one of them is the travel niche, right? All the airlines, all those things. Their stocks have gone down crazy, crazy amounts. Would I buy them right now? Not really. Because what's going to happen, we don't know how long people are not allowed to travel. And if that takes very long, maybe some of those companies who actually go bankrupt or, you know, so investing there is very, very high risk uh, right now. And again, we're not trading, we're investing, so I would not do it. Now, due to some other geopolitical um, issues right now, the oil price has gone super down. And very big oil companies have lost 50, 60% of their value right now in stocks. There, you know, again, ask yourself, is that something that's going to last? Probably not if you do your research. Do I believe that the big oil companies will actually still be here in three, four, five years? Yes, I do. So for me right now, buying some of the bigger um, oil companies, which also give very good dividends, is a smart thing to do because they lost half their value. I don't see that going wrong in the, in the short term or middle long term. So I think that's smart. So just to summarize everything, always make sure you have a good split in cash uh, and stocks. Um, make sure that you have that war fund so you can buy whenever it's going down. And if the balance is tilting one way or the other, force yourself to buy low, to sell high. And that's the way to really invest when things go down. And yes, I shouldn't look at my portfolio right now because yes, I've lost money with it this year. But I believe you only lose money if you actually sell. 
And I'm not intending to sell, I'm intending to buy more. And then if it goes up, I'll sell with a profit. So that's what I would do in the next couple of months, um, maybe a couple of years, we never know how long it's gonna take. And I think that's the way to invest in a, in a crisis. So I really hope you enjoyed this little series. All the three videos uh, will be linked here. Any questions, just drop them below and um, I will see you very, very soon.